Hey sexies, it's your boy Tacho here, and we're back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a showcase of my brand new defense team for Light and Dark Season. So we have the wonderful <laughs> Thick Thigh Woman herself, Knots, in action. And Knots is honestly the best defense mythic in the game right now, I would say. Because she gives us Pathfinder and she also unlocks the seventh slot. So just the amount of shenanigans you're able to do with Knot is out of control. And it's way more than what you get from Seiros in Astra Season. So I would definitely say Knot is the best defense mythic in the game right now. And the way that we're going to be running her here is on a turn one trap. So of course we have Reinhardt set up in slot seven. So Reinhardt's just going to end his turn at the start of the fight. I have Duo Sigurd in slot one of the team. So he's going to take his action first before Duo Peony, who I have placed in slot three. And Sigurd is going to take advantage of Pathfinder. He's going to dance on Reinhardt at the start of turn one. And then if Sigurd in this space is able to attack any unit on these four columns, or <laughs> rather these four spots on the bottom, then the trap is going to be sprung and all my other units are going to start moving. So it's really hard to get away from this. Like these four spots, pretty much if you have a bonus unit for offense that grants slot six, there's no way to get away from it if you have the minimum three structures because you'll see here you have one, two, three, and then six from here. So that's a possible nine spaces where you could be sp safe. And then if Sigurd is attacking four spots, then four minus nine is five. If you have six units on offense, then there is no way to get away from this. Unless you're like a super galaxy brain and you don't run the escape ladder. And you're just running the bonus structure and the fortress to have maximum space on the bottom. Then maybe you'd be able to get away with it. <laughs> but I really don't think anyone has the balls to not run the escape ladder. So you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, Sigurd in this spot is going to spark our turn one trap. If Sigurd over here is in range to attack somebody, we have Duo Lift with Rally Res. And he's going to move to this space over here. He's going to go ahead and use Rally on Sigurd. And then Duo Lift after he ends his turn. We're going to have Peony take advantage of Pathfinder. Peony is going to move over here and dance on Duo Lift. And then from that point, good luck dealing with a duo lift who can practically attack all the spots on the bottom. He's going to be getting plus three to all stats, and he also will be within three range of Peony. So he's going to get his full weapon effect off. <laughs> so as you can see, this team is really disgusting. We also have Larachel over here with odd recovery so we can stop any isolation tactics. And... I also like this Larachel a lot because her weapon is one of the most broken staffs in the game. And it's going to be able to inflict a flash effect on the nearest foe within her attack range here of five spaces. And because of that, I put the real bolt trap on this side here. So you have a choice. You can stand on this fake bolt trap and not take the damage. But you're going to get hit by flash. Or you could stand on the real bolt trap and lose 50 HP worth of health, and then avoid getting hit by Flash. So pretty much it's pick your poison with this team. I also have the healing tower over here in the most asshole spot possible, where basically all my units are going to get healed by this at the start of the turn, and there's not really a way to break it. Like, let's say you broke the blue lion flag, and then you stood on this space, and you tried to break the healing tower with a ranged unit, Larachel is going to inflict Flash on the unit standing right there. <laughs> so, another fine trap that I've set up on this team. Okay, of course, we have Duo's Hindrance in slot 6. Ideally, I wouldn't want it to be in slot 6. I'd rather have it in maybe slot 2 or slot 4. But the problem with that is, <laughs> based on the way my units are positioned, I don't have a choice. If I want everyone to get odd recoveried at turn 1 by Larachel... This was the only spot I could put Duo's Hindrance, so that's where it is. And other than that, we have Triandra over here 
only because she's the bonus defense mythic for this season right now. It's going to rotate between Hell or Sothis or Bramimond or Yune. Whoever happens to be the bonus defense mythic is who I'm going to put there. <laughs> but conveniently enough, Triandra is probably the best option because Frightful Dream is going to inflict some massive debuffs and guard anytime she uses Dance. So that's also pretty helpful. And I think we pretty much covered everything there is to talk about with the team. There's not really too many ways to beat it either, as we can see. Like, not a single person was able to do it this season. Last season, there was one guy that was able to beat me. But he was using a save skill setup with save Brave Edelgard as well as Brave Hector. <laughs> so, it's like save skills are bust at this point in time. If you don't have save skills, you're just out of luck unfortunate as that may be and as we can see here i had a perfect offense perfect defense so th this is like the maximum score i can get in light season just based on the offensive mythic merges that i have right now so rank 146 not too shabby if i say so myself and we're gonna go ahead and just play these defense replays i want to make sure that i play all of them for you guys so you can see the team in action and I'm just going to cut the commentary at this point. And I'm probably going to speed up the video as well so that it doesn't take too long to go through all of these. But I think it's important to show them all. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys again in the next one.